right? So those, what's the word osteo mean? Bones. Bones. Are we going to be using that word a lot tonight? Yes. Okay. So we're going to say osteoclasts, osteoblasts, and osteocytes. And those are the different, the main cells that we're going to be talking about when we're talking about bones. Okay. Then, when we're talking about compact bone, we'll talk about the building block or the building system or the unit of compact bone is either called the osteon or it's called the aversian system. And then when we talk about compact bone, that's what we'll talk about. It's a different uh, unit that all the bones are going to be made up of. And then we'll talk about trabeculae. You probably have heard of that word before. Yeah. Bone trabeculae are like little bridges, little tubes of bone that are inside the bone that give it strength. Right? And then we'll get into a little bit of bone development. How do bones form? How do they grow? Okay. And then the physiology of bone. Okay. So if you're talking about the anatomy of bone, anatomy means what? Structure, physiology is function. And then we'll talk about the homeostasis of bone. Okay, so if you guys came in, I know I did some of them going to start, but all I'm doing is just reviewing the stuff that we're going to talk about. So you don't really miss anything. This is just a summary. Okay? And then for bone homeostasis, bone is not just set in stone. It's, it, it changes constantly. Okay? If you break a bone, it's going to get healed. Your bone is being built up and broken down all the time. It's not just... You have your bone structure that stays constant. It's, it's in a state of homeostasis. Right. And then also to talk about mechan how mechanical forces affect bone. Right. So what is what kinds of exercise are going to affect bone more than others? Right. What kind of exercise do you think is going to strengthen your bones more? Who, who's going to be have potentially stronger bones if all they did was, you know, Michael Phelps, if all he did was swim in the pool versus those big Ukrainian women that are pumping it. Which bones are going to have to be stronger? Okay, which, so the forces, the mechanical forces from weight bearing, so that's why a lot of times we'll talk more about it in with, in, with, especially with females, you want to build up your bone density that you want to do weight bearing exercises. So if you're going to walk, at least carry some weight or something like that. You know, it doesn't mean like you've got to pump iron like Svetlana or something, you know, from the Ukrainian way that you teach. All right. So then, we'll talk about how uh, mechanical stress affects the trabecula in the bone and different alignments of bone. So that will tell, tell us, like, we'll talk about the vertebra, how certain parts of the vertebra are going to be weaker and more susceptible to compression and fracture because of the way that the trabecula are formed. And that's about it, right? Should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, obviously you can sell, tell here, you know, this guy's not as tough as he thought he was. <laughs> it didn't go, the, the, uh, it's only bad to the, or to the uh, connective tissue, not all the way to the bone. So, so now we're basically in the notes. Uh, mine doesn't have page numbers, so I mean we're in the third section or chapter, whatever you want to call it. So we'll talk about the function of bones. So functions of bones are support. It's one of the main things. So it's going to help protect, or it's going to form the framework of the body that's going to support everything and it's going to protect the organs. Right? So it's going to cradle the soft organs, and then also it's a protective case for the spinal cord and the brain. Obviously, your brain and spinal cord is important, so you need to protect that. And then also, if you if all you had was a bag of muscles, you can't just because muscles can move, they can't move by themselves. They have to have something attached to. So the bone and the move and the muscles together is what create movements. One without the other can't do it. And then also the function of bone is the storage for minerals, primarily calcium. And we'll talk more about it. It's like 
the, the calcium is the bank for, I mean, the, the bones are is the bank for calcium in your body, okay? When you want to store calcium in the body, it goes into the bones. When the body needs calcium for something else, it's going to make a withdrawal, okay? When it has the extra calcium and it needs to put it into the bones to make the bones stronger, it's going to make a deposit into the bones. So the bones is a mineral storage bank. So calcium is going to be in the bones and when, when the body needs it, it's going to take it out. Is there a certain point where you stop putting calcium in your bones? They say after a certain age that you're... Yeah, I mean, the calcium can be excreted out of the body. But you mean in terms of a certain age? Uh, like osteoporosis, they say, I don't know what the age is, but at a certain age, your bones... A lot of times it's postmenopausal, and there can be other different things that are hormonal. Yeah, the best opportunity to build up calcium in your body, and when you talk about that, most of the time you're talking about in, in females, okay, you don't want to wait until you're 35, 40, and then start building up calcium. It's... But even if you're still at those ages, you can still do things to, to maintain it. But the idea is when you're young, you don't want to just think, oh, you know, my calcium's fine. That's when you still need to think about building it up. And then as you get, it's easier to build up calcium at a younger age, and then it's harder to build it up as you get to older age. So I don't think there's a specific cutoff point, but it's just harder because of hormonally things have changed, and your body's not going to build up its calcium as much. And like we talked before, I think about different things in the body. As the body gets older, it doesn't retain as much water. It gets dried out more. Your skin gets dry. Your hair gets brittle. Now things tend to break down. And then blood cell formation is the bone system. The bone marrow is where blood cells are formed. Okay? And it's going to be a specific type of bone marrow, the red bone marrow, which is different than the yellow bone marrow. So you can see here, inside of the cavities of the bone, that's where the blood cells are going to be formed. Okay, so just to review, you couldn't quite do that if you had, didn't have the support of the bones. But most of us, even with the bony skeleton, not, that's not going to happen. Okay? So, the function of the bones is going to be support, so it provides a framework work to work in conjunction with the rest of the muscles to support the body. And then it's also going to support the soft organs of the body. And then protection. Obviously, your brain is important, so you're pretty much completely surrounded by the bones. When we talked before about the skull, we had the cranial portion of the skull, and then we had the facial portion. And then you have the spinal cord, I mean, the, 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 the vertebra, and that's going to protect the spinal cord. And then also, you need bones for somewhere to the muscles to attach to to be able to move the body. Do you think some positions like that are uh, detrimental to the body? Positions like that, like this? Uh, in certain phases, I mean, when... Yeah, I mean, that would not be good to do for a long period of time, but obviously, <laughs> young females, they, you know, they get into gymnastics, they train, and they're able to do those types of things, and then later on, they're, they're not going to be able to do that. That's why um, gymnasts tend to be in the younger age group. There's that big controversy with their getting in trouble for putting having those young uh, was the Chinese girls that were starting too young to, to be in the gymnastics. You know, they're trying to protect the athletes to you know harm in their bodies. But you know, in a lot of things, moderation is the key. I mean, you know, if your body's able to handle that, it's one thing to do it a little bit, but to do it excessively, it's probably not going to be good.